The show follows the stories of six people who were exonerated from death row. When I started sort of researching for the play, I was reading a lot of exonerated testimonials. There was this one theme that started to really emerge, and that was this sense of arrested development. It was the sense that people talked about how whatever age they were when they went into prison, their sort of internal development stopped. I had this idea, which is basically that the student actors would play the exonerated people, um, and that everyone else would be played by professional actors. They interviewed 40 people. A big part of it is to get a diversity of experience and to have sort of people who've been through similar things and who had, who dealt with those things in slightly different ways right next to each other. The movements that he talks about are really strong. Partly they're sort of semi-chronological. Partly it's, you know, we start with sort of the introductions and how the people got arrested and then what their experience was in the criminal justice system and then how they faced sort of the question of execution and then at the end how they sort of survived and came through the other side. But more than that, I almost feel like it's a journey of faith, and that's the way that the stories really intersect. The people in this play who come through this experience and are able to sort of move on and have a life are the people who, who somehow maintained a faith. The faith in humanity or the universe or something, something bigger, something bigger than the, than the individual self. There's a line in the play that's said by one of the wives of the exonerees, and um, she, she says that when she first met him, she wondered what he had done to get himself in that situation. He had to have done something, even if it wasn't the crime that he was convicted of. But some of them were just in the wrong place at the wrong time, or, or made decisions after they were arrested trying to protect themselves. When you look at the statistics and they're like, you know, a hundred and something people exonerated from death row, each of those people is a person.